Hi you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and welcome to show and tell number 83. I forgot to double check before I started filming. That's becoming a really regular thing. Part of that is I'm so scatterbrained and part of it is like when I finally sit down to film, like I'm just ready to go. I've already been interrupted multiple times today. I should have sat down and started filming at 4 a.m. when I got up or like six before I went on my walk or something, but I didn't. And that's on me. It happens. So this has been one of those weeks where I keep trying to sit down and something happens. Uh, it, it's literally, it's becoming a farce. It's hilarious. It really shouldn't be, but it is. It is hilarious at how much I get interrupted every time I sit down. Yesterday, we had Amazon, FedEx, UPS, USPS, all dropping off packages. I had a neighbor who was picking up a donation for the Breast Cancer Research Society here in Charlotte. Um, and there was something else I had to stop in the middle of my day for that just, it triggered a whole nother series of events. But <sighs> yeah, and it's been like that every day since I last sat down to film with you guys. Every single time I try to sit my tushy down for more than 30 minutes, something happens. It's okay though. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Just hilarious. So I don't have that much uh, as far as finished objects to show you guys. I just have some Halloween cards to show you guys. I have an amazing Happy Mail package that <laughs> we'll, we'll be laughing about Carrie's response to that. But first I want to talk to you about my whip. So I have started the decreases on my sock head beanie using the hand dyed yarn from Hobby Lobby. I am still loving this dark denim color. I love the deep tonal blues in this. Still loving the way it feels as you work it. It's very, it like actually somehow gets softer as you use it, which I'm okay with. I'm probably going to have right at 20 grams left over when I'm done. So I'm, I'm really enjoying that. Hopefully as soon as I'm done filming this and getting this uploaded, I'll be able to, uh, you know, sit down and work on this for a little while. The next thing I have is my corner to corner blanket. I am using Premier Anti-Pilling in eight different colors. And I did a random number picker to pick what color I'm using. Man, yarn in my nose again. Anyway. Random number picker to pick the color I'm using and then another random number picker between 5 and 15 to decide how many rows each color will be. So here we are so far. I've got, let's see, another probably four inches before I turn the corner up. So I mean, I'm making significant headway. The blanket before I start bordering it probably needs to be about six two, at least. So it'll be a nice wide blanket, nice long blanket. I am trying to weave in my ends as I change colors. Keep it, keep it rolling. I have completed one whole ball of yarn and I'm about to finish another one in this. The color I'm currently working with is quiet blue. But I'm loving this project, loving how that's working out. And those are really the only two things that I've worked hard on. I have started my Mary Maxim September Knit Club. I'm about halfway through that, but I figure there's really not a whole lot to show you guys until it's done. Like it just doesn't look like anything yet. Worse than the hat was when I started showing you that as a whip. Mm. So very thirsty. So very thirsty. Since I sat down to film an hour ago, I have received four different phone calls and have been like popping up and down, hopping up and down all over the place. It's been, like I said, if I try to sit down, 
absolute bedlam breaks out. So we have still working with the doodle bug collection. I have tabled Halloween for the rest of the year. I will be working on Christmas cards moving forward. I really need to get those done. Oh, that's just, it looked like an extra piece back there for some reason. And most of these have, you know, fairly simple insides. I either use paper scraps on the inside. I did use stamp sets for the insides. see we'll start getting to duplicates here shortly and hopefully this will go a little bit quicker i love these little owls i think they're just like the cutest things ever so i have like three different versions of this card they all have different ephemera pieces on them look slightly different no oh, sorry four different versions <laughs> couple of different of this one. Who do you? A little bat there. Oh. This is why I really want to start taking pictures of these and just showing the picture because it a saves us a whole bunch of time here and b you don't have to deal with my gawky awkward like holding them up to show them to you. And these are all pretty much identical. So I ended up with 100 cards total. I have just enough to send out. So unfortunately, I won't have any extras to uh, sell of the Halloween cards. Which I kind of hate because it's kind of fun to see how those go. Now these use like the same sketch, but they're all different scraps of paper and bits of paper they're all decorated kind of differently but this is a very simple uh sketch that i used for these eventually i'm going to sit down and share with you guys how i store my sketches and what i do because i do actually kind of have a cool way of storing those how cute did that turn out with the little kitty cat And like I said, this was all, this isn't using any of the collections that I had. These are using the value packs that just have random bits of old collections kind of thrown in together. And some random bits that I picked up, you know, at yard sales or inherited from somebody else. So these are not quite as cohesive as a set as some of my other card groups have been. A little, little awkward to use, but Doodlebug, if it had only been the last three years, it wouldn't have been so bad. But Doodlebug is really good at like year to year, the Christmas collection slowly change color and aesthetic so like you can combine multiple seasons this just included stuff before they started doing the super cute stuff like they do now and that's kind of what made it a little bit harder to use all together but I have everything packed up for that I have my next set of Christmas cards on my desk and hopefully I will get to some fall cards next and then go back to Christmas because I do kind of get tired of the same season over and over again. I'm thinking about next year hosting some sort of craft along in May that is specifically for Halloween because we have Christmas in July and I'm thinking about doing something in May for Halloween so we can get a jump start on any of the Halloween crafts we want to, to have ready for the season. And it'll be a craft along, not just a cow or something like that. Now, on to my happy mail. So like I said, there's going to be a little bit of a funny story to go along with this. So yesterday when I was at the post office, I had all of my happy mails for my two year vlog anniversary that went out and I had, I'm going to make sure I get everything back in my basket. So I'm not like running up and down the stairs all night tonight. 
trying to re-grab everything that I forgot. Um, <clears throat> I was getting all that stuff set out and the guy working at the post office had just slipped back to the back as I went to go check my P.O. box. And it was so hilarious because he was right behind the... So, number one, Waxall's a small town. <laughs> um, so our post office is actually a really, really small post office and all of the P.O. boxes are at most this big. I have a smaller one. So if I get a package in there normally, you know, I get a key, have to go to the big package boxes and pick up my package. Oh, it's so funny because he had just gotten done helping me and had gone back behind where the package boxes are. And I was unlocking the box and it was one that was at about eye level for me. And <laughs> all of a sudden, all he heard was me going, Sonny, what did you do? Under my breath. And it, of course, it like echoes back through the empty box on the other side. And he like pops his face around and it's like, are you okay? And I said, no, I'm fantastic. Uh, a friend of mine sent me a package and I know that she makes maple syrup and this feels like there's maple syrup in there. And he's like, and I was like, exactly. Like, no, there is zero issue with this, but I am so excited. So I have told you guys before to go check out Sunny over at the North Country Knitter. I love her channel. She brings joy. She is so cute. But <laughs> this was so unnecessary and I am so excited. Um, I don't need a whole lot of refined sugar. Maple is not one of the things that creates a whole lot of joint inflammation for me. Like real maple syrup. Now like pancake syrup, we don't get along. And last year, her husband decided to tap their trees. So they've got a lot of homemade maple syrup. I've equated it to like my friends who decided to beekeep thinking, oh, well, you know, we'll get a pint or two. And then 15 gallons for the season later, they're like, oh, what are we going to do with all this? <laughs> Look at that, you guys. It's real maple syrup. I have not cracked into any of these. She sent me three jars of maple syrup, y'all. This is like three years worth of syrup for me. And I told my husband, like, we're going to have a maple weekend. We're going to do maple braised pork loin. We're going to do homemade. Now, I will have to stick to the wheat-free, but wheat, I'll do full wheat waffles for him. Wheat-free waffles for me. You can always stick them in the freezer to, like, make your own egos. So, we will be doing that. I will have to make some of my ginger co ginger maple cookies, but I, I seriously, you guys, I literally was dancing to the grocery store after this. Like I was just blown away thinking of all the things to do with my maple syrup. So I now have three pints of fresh, home tapped, hand tapped, boiled maple syrup. Yes! <laughs> you really did not have to send me maple syrup. Thank you. Thank you. I, I thought I hated syrup on pancakes and waffles for years. And I used to just put like peanut butter and jam or maybe like a little drizzle of fresh honey. And I've always done local honey anyway. But then I got real maple syrup for the first time from Vermont. Now I understand why people like syrup. I am not a syrup person. I am a maple person. <laughs> but thank you so much. And that's not all she sent. She sent me a beautiful card. A very, very sweet card. It will go up on my, my heart up here with all of my, my cards. Um, I think you're pretty fantastic too. <laughs> um... In her card, she said she knows I'm going through a blue phase. And I really enjoyed working with the Flicka. Comfy Cotton is the same thing as Flicka. So she sent me blue Comfy Cotton. 
And she said, I know you don't like the scrubby yarn. So if you give these away, like, I'm not going to be upset. I don't like working with scrubby yarn. I love the final project with the scrubby yarn. So it's one of those I work with it to get my final fabric. Not that I don't like the final fabric. I, I suffer the making process to get to this point. These are awesome. And they are so heavy. Like they've got that nice, because she's worked the scrubby cotton with a, or scrubby yarn with a cotton. So it's that nice heavy weight. This is like perfect for everything. I think this way is great for body as well as dishes and countertops and stuff. So these may actually be going to my bathroom, not to my kitchen. But thank you. You just saved me from having to make my own. <laughs> thank you. You guys really go check out her channel. She is a fairly new channel, but she is so much fun. She is so sweet. She is learning more advanced techniques as she goes. So she talks about her trials and tribulations with what she's learning and the process of getting there in a very calm and sweet way. Whereas I'm very frantic and like, <sighs> she's much more mellow. She has a great way of looking at the positives. We were talking about her socks that she's been working on and it didn't quite work out right, but it means that she can get her daughter's Christmas socks done early. So it's a positive for her, even though like I would be sitting there going, ah. but thank you so much. It, completely and wholly unnecessary, but I am beyond grateful. I am so excited about everything sitting here. And even my husband said thank you because he also is a huge maple syrup fan. <laughs> so he is looking forward to a maple weekend, especially when I said we would do maple glazed pork. I don't make a whole lot of like pork chops and things like that. So the idea that he's either going to get a pork tenderloin or a pork maple glazed pork chop has him totally excited now. So when I figure out everything I'm going to make for our maple weekend, I will make sure to let you guys know and share with you guys the recipes that I'll be using. If you've never had a maple balsamic vinaigrette, on a fall fruit and walnut salad. I would look into that as well. If you like eating salads. Um, it's pretty spectacular. It's pretty spectacular. And I just found a pumpkin bread recipe that I can eat. And I'm thinking, you know, instead of putting, you know, sugar into the frosting other than what I need for strengthening the frosting doing like a maple glaze over the top of the pumpkin bread that would be awfully tasty right i'm not crazy right so thank you so much guys please go check out sunny's channel she's a delight you guys will love her she's also a little quirky too and when she lets her little quirk shine it's great <laughs> I, I'm a train wreck. She's just a little quirky. Oh, totally smacking my camera there. All right, you guys. I am going to go upstairs and start picking out some recipes. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. I hope you have an amazing weekend and I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. I will link Sunny's channel down below. So please go check her out. Maple. Yeah, y'all are seeing the spaz. Mm. I wish I, I, you know, I really do wish I were like one of those sweet, refined, delicate people. I'm not. But it's all right. Uh, Saturday, we will have the Mary Maxim crochet kit unboxing. So come back on Saturday to check that out. But until then, take care. I love you guys and I will see you real soon.